Hey Joanna, I'm wondering where does English come from? Yeah, me too. Wait, 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 wait. Actually, based on what I studied, it all started with the arrival of three Germanic tribes who invaded the Britain during the 5th century AD. This tribes, the Jutes, the Angles, the Saxons, they crossed the North Sea from what today is Denmark and Northern Germany. At that time, the inhabitants of Britain spoke a Celtic language, but most of the Celtic speakers were pushed west and north by the invaders, mainly into what is now Wales, Scotland, and Ireland. Mm. And then, what happened next? You know, Kat, the invading Germanic tribes spoke similar languages, which in Britain developed into what we now call Old English. Old English did not look like or sound English today. Native English speakers now would have great difficulty understanding Old English. The words be strong and water, for example, der derived from Old English. Did you know, guys, Beowulf? Yes. 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 Beowulf is an epic poem written in Old English. Old English was spoken around 1100. Sounds interesting. If that is so, what are the words from Old English? Words like are means are, besiege which means request or ask, can means can, fear means friend or companion, henceforth means from now on, and nari means now absolutely nothing. I heard about Duke William. Not sure who is he. And how about the Normans? I know the answer. In 1066, William the Conqueror, the Duke of the Normandy invaded and conquered England. Mm, the new conquerors called Normans brought with them a kind of French and which became the language of the royal court and the ruling and the business classes. In that time, the lower classes spoke English and the upper classes spoke French. In the 14th century, English became dominant in Britain again, but with many French words added. This language is called Middle English. It was the language of the great poet Chaucer, but it would be still difficult for native English speakers to understand today. Ah. You know what guys, there are so many names involved in the history of English language, like the Northumbria, Alexander the Great, Shakespeare, Pigs, and many more. But you know what, to fasten them all, all we know is that the greatest achievement Great Britain has had is the English language. Right? It's the greatest achievement they've had. I think I'm so tired now, so let's go home. Native English speakers now would have great difficulty understanding old English. <laughs> Action. Wait, wait. This uh, means can. Fear means friend or companion. Then henceforth. I have a normal. I know the answer. Um, in 1966, William. Wait. Janine, 3, 2, 1, action. Mainly into what is now. Ireland? Ah, mali kuya, sorry. Kasi ba? Sa pa? Akala ko si Regina yung lalaman. 3, 2, 1, action! Mom! Sige lang, sige lang, sige lang. Para rolling, 3, 2, 1, action! And then, what happened next? You know, Kat, the Germanic invading Germany. Action. Hey Joanna, I'm wondering where does English come from? Yeah, me too. Uh, wait guys, just wait. <laughs> Actually, based on what I've studied a while ago, it all started with the, inv uh, with the invading of the three Germanic tribes, namely the Jutes, the Angles, and the Saxons. Hindi ko na alam.